Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel and this is to answer a few questions about Cortana and the new version of Windows 10 version 2004. So in the May 2020 update Cortana is now officially a separate app. It is still there but this is an app that got separated from um, from Microsoft uh, Windows 10. Uh, before a lot of you might have noticed that they would probably have been uh, together. So the search and the Cortana were pretty much, you know, the, the, the same. So now, um, with a separation of Cortana, it actually gives a different way of having um, that app update, first of all. So because it's separated, now it updates on its own. But also, it will add capabilities of its own without having to always update Windows 10 itself. Before, when you wanted a Cortana update, you had to update the whole Windows, which was not necessarily the best thing in the world. Um, the new experience is different. It is scalable, so you can actually you know, change uh, the size of the app, move the app, uh, and, and so on. Uh, you, there's what we call conversation mode uh, here so you can actually kind of have somewhat of a conversation if you feel lonely uh, <laughs> but some of the questions that uh, most of you are actually asking is there are some of you to say well you know what my app my Cortana app stopped working after the update to version 2004 one of the things you need to know about this app is that it's still kind of in beta form so what you have here is still a trial Cortana app and it gets updates regularly. So f one of the first things you should do if for some reason your Cortana app does not open or work well is to go to the Microsoft Store because this is where now Cortana app actually updates itself on its own. You go here and you go into the upper right corner into downloads and updates and here you just uh, click get updates and see where uh, what apps are being updated you should see that from time to time your app your Cortana app will have an update so by checking for updates you will see what is updated and maybe your Cortana app will be one of them after the update it's possible that what is uh, not working or if you had some problems might actually start working again so it's important to know that also because it's uh, it's here that all of this is going to happen. The other thing is, um, I believe I've read a, um, a, a, um, a blog post from Microsoft saying that in some cases, in some regions, it might temporarily stop working until they update it correctly and it's going to come back to normal. So you could wait and be patient and um, see when you know it, it's going to come back at some point but the Cortana app is there. Now, can we uninstall the app? That's another question I have. Uh, I haven't tried it. So, of course, in the settings, there's no way to do it because if you go into your settings and if you go into your apps, you will notice that uh, in the apps and the settings, even though Cortana is there because it's an app, it is not, it does, they don't give you the possibility of actually removing Cortana so what happens is that you might have Cortana listed here like you see here but the thing is that uninstall button is going to stay grayed out because it's now an app I suspect that if you use in um, third-party software like a C cleaner C cleaner is capable of removing apps that are not um, uninstallable within Windows itself. So that's one thing that you could do. Uh, look at CCleaner and uh, look at the apps, the uninstalling of apps and programs. You should see Cortana in there. It's probably uninstallable by CCleaner. And one last thing, if you have problems with the app, go once again into your apps and features into the advanced options into the advanced options you will have uh, possibly an option that is going to be 
uh, giving you the possibility to actually terminate and to repair or reset the app to make sure that you can actually have it working. So uh, in some cases, if it doesn't work, terminate the app, then go and repair it or reset it and see if it comes back to normal uh, when it works. And last but not least, if you're using Cortana and you shut it down, a lot of people have been mentioning, well, you know, it doesn't shut down. It's still there in the control panel uh, in the task manager. Yeah, it is, but that's because Cortana needs to work in the background to actually continue working and respond to the commands that you could give it. You know, like when you say, hey, and I'm not going to say the word because a lot of you will have it starting up, but to respond to your commands and everything and update itself, uh, it needs to run in the background. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.